Today I'm travelling from Portsmouth to St Malo aboard the ferry Pont Avon, a Brittany ferry ship with cruise class facilities including a jaw-dropping four-deck high atrium with glass elevators, a selection of dining options, a shopping centre and even a swimming pool. Easily accessible from the A3, M3 and M275 motorways, Portsmouth is around a two-hour drive from London and the M25 orbital. For this trip, I'll be leaving my car in Portsmouth and travelling to St Malo as a foot passenger. Conveniently for me, the car park is located within the port complex. Join me as we pick up the ferry in this naval city and spend 12 hours aboard this so-called cruise ferry. So this is my cabin. It's a two berth inside cabin. Let's put my bags down. Okay, so two berth inside cabin. Uh, inside meaning there is no window. Um, it is what it is. Um, although I'm traveling on my own, I know, bless. I do have two bunks, so I can choose which bunk I want to sleep in. I don't have to share it, it's all mine. If I wanted to sleep on the top bunk, then just over here, I've got a ladder to get up there, sort of health and safety being what it is. Um, if I wanted to sleep on the bottom bunk, then this top bunk actually goes up into the ceiling, so I've got plenty of space. Um, I do have two pillows and two duvets, and just over here is my vanity unit. Nice and clean, perfect. Um, I've got two hangers, uh, a porthole shaped mirror, which is great, a vanity table, and there are two two pin power sockets. So if you're traveling on this ship and you're based in the UK, please do not forget your European two pin adapters because you will need that to charge your mobile phones, your laptop, your alarm clock, so on and so forth. Um, over here, I've got a bedside table and a light. Just notice there's no power socket over there. So if like me, you like to press the snooze button, but your phone's over here on charge during the night, you will need to get out of bed and press the snooze. Whether that's a good thing or bad thing, I don't know, but yeah, no power socket over there. So just bear that in mind. Um, just over here we've got a thermometer so I can turn the temperature up and down it's very very cold outside it's sort of middle of December at the moment um, but in here it's nice and toasty but it's good to have the option I can turn that up and down if I need to um, just over here I've got a, a big full-length mirror so uh, when it comes to it and I tie my hair up or sort it out then I can use that and in here in here is my very own bathroom. It's like my home away from home. So I've got a sink in the corner there. I've got a hand towel, big mirror with overhead lighting. Um, there's a socket. So if I need to charge my razor, then I can charge that up, up there. Um, WC, two toilet rolls and a bin and two large bath towels. Now they're going to be perfect because I've got a shower in the corner there. 
and I can see in the mirror, yep, in the corner there, I've got uh, about this much of shampoo, come conditioner, come shower gel, come whatever. It's just me. I'm on board for, well, I'm on board for two days. Uh, I'm traveling over from Portsmouth to St. Marlow, which is 12 hours. I've got a day in St. Marlow and then I'm going back to Portsmouth again. So I'm going to be on board for two nights and ashore for one day. So all of this is going to be perfect just for me. If I wanted to upgrade, um, I could have had a window cabin. Now, window cabins are pretty much the same as this, except they've got a window probably about the size of this porthole shaped mirror. Um, this ship has also got a Durux uh, cabins and they've also got Commodore class cabins. Now they are the top notch, beautiful suites on board this ship. Now the Commodore class cabins um, have got a double bed, they've got tea and coffee making facilities, they've even got a balcony. Now you would really normally only expect that on cruise ships but this is what they call cruise ferry. A cruise ferry means that you've got cruise class facilities. For example, on this ship, you've got a selection of bars, one of which has got a big grand white piano. You've got a range of dining options. Uh, you've got a big shopping center. On this ship, you've got a split level bar uh, with a big glass roof above it. It's even got a swimming pool underneath the glass dome. This is actually more than a car ferry, it's actually a cruise ferry. So why would you want to fly? You've got all the space, all the facilities. Why would you want to fly and be confined to cramped conditions? So this is my cabin. Um, what I'm going to do is just get changed, take my gloves off, sort myself out, and then I'm going to check out the facilities. So I'll see you later. <laughs> So we've just left Portsmouth. Um, I've got to say, it's absolutely freezing here tonight, but uh, I suppose it is mid-December. Um, I've got to say, um, being on this ship is like being on a cruise ship. I mean, look at the teak decking, just like you'd find on a cruise ship. In the summer months, when it's a lot warmer than this, this wall of glass actually opens right up and it allows the outside in. So you can imagine sitting there in the bar having a nice drink or a nice cocktail, getting the sea breeze coming in, looking out over the, over the vistas. It really is a fantastic experience. I mean, why would you want to travel in the other way? Just over on the side there, you've got a, a staircase going up to the other exterior deck so you can get plenty of fresh air, you can walk around, you can stretch your legs. There is even a dog exercising area. So if you're traveling with your four-legged friends, bring him or her along. Um, they can wander around, get some fresh air, have a have a little run. Brittany Ferries have really thought of everything. Anyway, it's absolutely freezing cold here tonight, so I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you around the Pont Avon.
good morning. Um, I've just woken up after a really good night's sleep here in my two berth inside cabin. Um, there was no noise. Uh, I'm on deck five in the middle of the ship. Um, there's no movement from the ship. There's no noise from the car alarms going off during the night. Um, it was a really good night's sleep. Um, good temperature. The thermostat I've not had to change so it's nice and warm and toasty in here. When I uh, got out of bed eventually uh, I used the power shower and just like all Britney Ferry ships um, the showers are fantastic. It's a good power shower, nice and hot. Um, there were two bath towels which obviously is more than enough and they were nice and soft. Um, as I said uh, you get about this much of shampoo come conditioner come shower gel come whatever and uh, that was fine I was able to give my hair a wash and uh, yeah it's pretty good um, the plan for today um, it's about half past six in the morning I'm gonna go upstairs to the buffet self-service restaurant and have a nice good hot cooked breakfast a strong cup of coffee and that should set me up for the day for our arrival in St Marlow because I'm going to be there for a good 12 hours uh, looking around the historic walled city so uh, I need a good hot breakfast to set me up for the day. 